What's up, party people? My name is Vegan Chris. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And today I want to talk to you guys about a video that I saw that was fantastic. Okay. Um, okay, here's the deal. Okay, I firmly believe that we are all vegans. We are all herbivores. I mean, those are the facts. Look at your hands. If it weren't for tools, you would never be able to tear into live flesh and eat a live animal. I mean, look at your teeth. They're flat. Okay, don't talk to me about these. You know, people who eat meat love to say, oh, we have canines. See, these are our canines, so we evolved to eat meat. No, no, no. That, that, that canine could never eat raw meat. It could never tear into raw flesh. If you tried to jump on the back of a gazelle and eat it like a lion does, who is a real carnivore, or like a bear does that's a real omnivore, you only thing you would end up with is an angry gazelle, <laughs> okay? And it would probably kick the hell out of you, and and, and you'd be done. So, um, anyway, we are behavioral omnivores and behavioral carnivores, but we are natural herbivores, meaning our natural diet, the food that we can eat naturally in its raw state, are fruits and vegetables. Okay, so anyway. Without getting too much into that, I want to talk to you about this video that I saw because I think that everybody just needs the right words or the right experience to really unlock the vegan within. I think there's a vegan within each and every one of us, and it just takes the right experience to unlock that vegan within. You know, there's a saying, sometimes you have to hear something 10 times, 10 different ways from 10 different people before you get it, before it sinks in. And that is certainly the case with something like your diet because it's something that we grow up with, obviously. So if it's the wrong diet with the wrong information, then you may need to hear it a hundred times, a hundred ways from a hundred people, but uh, before it sinks in. But anyway, uh, so this video that I saw, it really demonstrated this fact brilliantly brilliantly i don't know who made this video but oh my goodness it was just so powerful and so in the video they're in a grocery store the scene is in a grocery store and you have a man dressed up as a butcher and he has a machine there a sausage making machine so you put the meat in this in the machine and you turn the handle and the sausage links come out so people would come up and he had some prepared sausage next to the machine for people to taste, for a taste test, okay? So every now and then someone would come up and they would eat one piece and it would be really good and so they would order more and so they would, you know, want him to make them some fresh fresh sausage so that uh, they could buy it, take it home, hook it up, you know, whatever. So anyway, they would take the taste test and they would order more so he would crank his press and only a little piece of sausage would come out so it's like he ran out it would look like he ran out of sausage so he had to put more meat into the machine more raw meat so that it could come out fresh sausage and so instead of getting more meat you know that's already prepared he gets a live pig a little piglet that he has behind him he has like a little pen of piglets behind him like three piglets so when he runs out of meat in the machine he turns around he grabs one of these piglets and he opens up the machine and he puts the whole pig in there and the people are standing there just mortified eyes just wide open and they're like what are you doing what are you doing they can't believe he's putting the whole pig in there but the connection is being made that that sausage that you just ate was once a live pig was once a piglet or a, a full grown pig the connection is being made when he does that because that's actually what it is it's not like he's you know, and so the way he was able to pull it off is that um, there's actually somebody underneath the table in that machine. And so he, they would grab the pig and then they would feed the sausage through the hole as he cranked it. And so it would seem like the pig was getting ground up and sausage links were coming out the other end. And so um, the people were just mortified by it. They couldn't believe it. These are the same people that just ate the sausage and said how good it was and they ordered more and he made a joke when that happened because once he starts cranking up the piglet and the sausage links are coming out and the people are freaking out the customers are freaking out what are you doing don't do that don't do that he reminds them that they just ate that piglet's mother 
in that plate, which is a complete total fact. That's actually what you're doing. So the connection was being made. So things like this have to happen. Experience like experiences like these have to happen to unlock that vegan within. There's a vegan in there. But the connection, we've been so disconnected because we go to the grocery store, you see none of the torture and the slaughter that has happened in order to create that environment, in order to have all those packaged meats. In fact, you see the opposite. When you look at a carton of milk, you see a beautiful farm and a happy cow. As a matter of fact, that's a name brand, Happy Cow. On one of the cheeses, Happy Cow. So you're seeing the opposite. You're seeing the exact opposite of what's happening. So that's how bad, the, that's how disconnected we are. Not only are we not seeing it, we're seeing the opposite. Okay, so if if this is reality here of what's actually happening, we're not seeing it. So not seeing it would be here, but seeing the opposite would be over here. Okay, so not only do we got to get you here, we got to get you here. And so that's that's the challenge. That's why it takes so many different stimuli and so many different experiences to actually get it. If you're a person that got it the first time you saw it, congratulations, you are still a human being. You still have your human morality intact. But most people don't. Most people are so far removed from it that it's just a lost cause. And that's why you have billions of animals being tortured, I mean, mercilessly, mercilessly. And you have the most well-meaning, well-intentioned people consuming that flesh, consuming those dead bodies, turning their own body into graveyards. I mean, it is absolutely sickening. So I think that video was just a stroke of genius, really, a real stroke of genius. My hat is off to whoever made that video because there, one lady got so mad, she was hitting him. She was beating the butcher. She was literally beating him, and she was grabbing the machine and, and trying to open the machine up and trying to take the pig back out of there. And saying who? And she, and she was saying, who raised you? How could you be so cruel? Who raised you? You know, this was in a foreign language, but they had the subtitles. And she couldn't believe he, he could be so cruel. Well, she just ate a piece. She just ate a piece. If it wasn't for people like her, those things wouldn't happen. If you didn't buy it, if there was no market, they wouldn't make it. If there was no market, they wouldn't make it. Okay? No market, no make it. So, um, it's really sad. It, the, the state of the world, the state of people's consciousness is really, really sad. And um, it takes people trying different methods to get through the people, trying different techniques to get through the people. And I'm sure that video right there definitely opened a lot of people's eyes. Absolutely. I mean, because even when I saw it, I was like, wow, wow. I mean, it's so powerful. Um, I wonder how many of those people actually changed their behavior because of that. Or did they just think, oh, that guy's disgusting. That guy's terrible. That butcher, how could he do that? He's terrible. Let's go somewhere else where they don't do that. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? What he was doing, if that was the way it was actually done, if you would take a, a piglet and just lift it up and put it in the machine and grind it up and it died immediately, that would be far more humane. If, if what he did was actually real, that would be far more humane than the way it's actually done. You're going to go somewhere so you don't have to see it, but that wherever you're going is worse than what he was doing. If you follow what I'm saying. So um, it is just really crazy. You know, you try to get through to people and you're like, listen, you know, we shouldn't be doing this stuff. And they're like, oh, it's a personal choice. <laughs> it's like, I understand that that's the way you feel. Uh, that's what mainstream media has taught you. That's what your parents have taught you. That's what your teachers have taught you. But that is not the truth because it is a personal choice, but it's not your choice. It's the choice of the being that you're eating. That is the being that gets to choose whether or not they live or die for somebody else's pleasure because we don't have to eat meat. We eat meat because we want to eat meat. We are not natural carnivores. We are not natural omnivores. 
We are behavioral carnivores and omnivores. It's our behavior that makes us eat meat. It's not because we need it in our nature. And, and that's a fact because if that weren't a fact, well, look at all the vegans that are out there. Look at all the people that survive without eating that stuff. And look at the rate of heart disease and stroke. Those are the number one killers. And the causes of those things is diet related. It is LDL cholesterol. That's a fact. It's the clogging of your arteries that causes this, this, the, the blood to stop flowing through them. So anyway, my name is Vegan Chris, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, like it, leave a comment, and uh, subscribe, and I'll keep them coming, baby. Peace.